Ah, a little scratching. Ready? Okay. So here I have 5 times y minus 4 equals 7 times 2y plus 1. And a problem like this, it's, it's going to get on your nerves, right? Because they're making us just do so much extra work. But it's important for us to understand that we have to simplify this equation before we can even try to start to solve it. Um, because I can't see my, my variable and both of these instances are inside my parentheses. So I can't undo the operations. Um, until I get rid of what's happening. Now, you can theoretically undo multiplying by 5 by dividing on 5 on both sides. But then you can say, I mean, you're really creating an issue over here because then you're going to have 7 times 2y plus 1 divided by 5. And it's going to kind of make things a lot of very complicated. So what I would recommend is use the distributive property to get rid of your parentheses. Since I cannot simplify my expressions inside my parentheses, I'm going to apply the distributive property, which is going to tell me to take my number outside the parentheses and multiply it to both terms in your parentheses. So 5 times y, and then that's a positive 5 times negative 4 equals a positive 7 times 2y times a plus a positive 7 times 1. So now 5 times y is 5y. Positive 5 times negative 4 is a negative 20 equals 7 times 2y is a 14y and 7 times 1 is a positive 7. So now what I have is a problem that I have a variable on both sides. So, But it's at least the somewhere I can use my reverse order of operations. But before I start looking at reverse order of operations, I got to make sure that I have my variables all on the same side. That's going to help me determine what operations I need to undo to my variables. So I want to get them variables all to one side. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of the variable that's going to have the smaller value attached to it. So here I have 5y and a 14y. Well, whatever my value of y is, when I multiply by 5, that's going to be less than multiplying by a value of 14. So I'm going to undo. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the 5y that's on the left side of my equation. So to do that, I can just subtract by 5y on the left and right side. Now remember, I can only subtract 5y from other terms that have the factor y. These are two numbers, so you cannot subtract from them. So 5y minus 5y is 0y, which is 0. So that's going to leave me with no y's on this left side. So negative 20 equals 9y plus 7. Now, what I need to do is just use my inverse operations. Negative 20 equals 9y plus 7. Remember, one, two step each problems. First, always undo addition and subtraction. So I'll undo addition by subtracting a 7 using the subtraction property of equality. I produce equivalent equations, which is a negative 27 equals 9y. Now, to undo multiplication by 9, I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides. And I get negative 3 equals y or y equals negative 3. So therefore, the value or the solution, the value of this, of my variable that makes this a solution true is negative 3. There you go. Hope you can see it. y equals negative 3. There you go. Thanks.